is almost done. I'm so excited. We've been at this now for about 10 months. We started in June of last year, Strangers, and I asked uh, the champions to trust the process, and they did. Uh, President Davis asked me, Dr. Carter, how do you feel? I said, I feel great. I can see the document. It's going to be stellar. It's going to be profound. Um, some of the things that we talked about, um, <laughs> how do we get to a point where we're including the community into these decisions and, and we have a true representative uh, from a variety of spaces and places. So even just at our table, we had a variety of people that just came out and wanted to make sure that our voices are heard, but how do we stretch that and make it wider? One of the things that we're talking about was provide equitable and competitive compensation. And it said to be equal to the city of St. Louis. But my question was, why just the city of St. Louis and not the state? A question that Dr. D um, produced to all of us, and I just want you to all think about it yourselves, is what do you do for your own mental wellness? The number one thing is we need more parent, community support, engagement, and involvement. The second thing is we need to start sharing power with the community and not just gatekeeping it. Um, the third thing is making sure that those resources are used effectively. One of the main things is uh, restorative justice. We want to um, get our kids out of that cradle to prison pipeline and to uh, encourage them to be their best selves working out, helping them to work out the situations in a more productive manner and teaching them so that when they get, when they get older, they'll learn how to have those conversations with each other.